Hi folks, Steve Sebastian here, one of the 139 sales representatives for Virusite. We have sales representatives North and South America. Today what we're going to talk about is our build out. So folks, what we'd like to do is to break down our build out into three separate sections, the outside of the vehicle, the office area of the vehicle, and then the work area of the vehicle. And in Virusite, what we like to do is we like to keep design aspects into like four different compartments because this is what the industry told us they wanted. Everybody wants it to be safe. So we're going to talk about safety on the outside, in the office, and in the work area. We're also going to talk about workability, the ability to move about and have the appropriate tools that you need, ready access, storage, also the comfort of it. Everybody needs to be comfortable while they're out there working. And last, we'll talk about the quality, the quality that we put into every one of our builds. So what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to start on the outside of the vehicle. And like I told you, the first thing we're going to talk about is safety. So let's take a quick look at the back end of this vehicle. And the reason we're going to start back here is this is where the operators of these inspection systems are most vulnerable. So we want to make sure that they're the most safe. So let's look up at the top of the vehicle there. We can see that there is a light bar going across there so that traffic can identify that there is an inspection vehicle in a lane from a far off distance. As that traffic begins to get a little bit closer to the vehicle, now we're gonna count on some of the safety lighting, such as these strobes that are mounted right here. We've moved on to the front of the vehicle and staying with the theme of safety, let's take a quick look at some of the safety features that we put on this vehicle, again, to protect that operator. So you'll see those same strobes we've seen in the back are mounted up here in front. So for the oncoming traffic to take notice of our inspection vehicle, we've put the cones up here. Now, sometimes people will opt to have them in the back. The reason we mount them up here is again, we want the operator to come out of the vehicle, work his way to the front using the vehicle as protection, grab the cones, he's well lit. He applies his cones, much safer workspace. Still on the back end of the truck, let's take a quick look up at the top and we're going to take a look at some of the LED lighting that we put in. Understand folks, these lights can easily be pulled down and worked on if need, but why did we choose LED? One, very bright. Again, part of the whole safety aspect in the back end of these trucks is keeping that operator safe. Also, I want you to take notice of those spotlights that are up there at the top. They're not just for traffic, but they're also to light up the entire work area because if you um, if you know anything about this industry, the manhole is typically going to be right here. So we want this area very well lit. We also keep everything at the back of the truck to limit the amount of exposure getting up inside the truck to limit slips and falls. So you'll see we provide toolboxes here for the operator to put whatever it is that he wants to put in there to keep him from having to get up in the truck. This is where we have a trash can. We can store hand sanitizer, soaps, and things that he's going to need through the course of doing his job. There's also our washdown system, which is here. Again, we want to keep the operator in the back end of the truck where we're well lit. And we're, we also have some safety of the truck. So limiting his exposure, walking on the outside where the traffic is, that's why we keep everything at the back end of the truck as you see it here. We've moved on now to the office area of our build and we're going to stick with our theme and we're going to talk about safety and quality comfort workability on the safety aspect you'll notice that this is the cockpit of the vehicle itself and we've put all of our safety lighting controls within arm's reach of the operator again keep in mind we want him to be able to apply the safety lighting before he exits the vehicle we're still back up here at the office area of this build and staying with our theme and speaking about safety. Why don't you take notice of that window there? The idea of that window there is when the operator is completely contained in here with all the doors shut, he has great visibility at the back end of the vehicle. He can speak to anybody that's out there by opening this door all within arm's length of where he is seated and operating the inspection system. Here again in the office area, within arm's length of the operator, we're giving you all the lights for inside this office area and also the work area. Does not have to exit the vehicle to get it lit. Here also you'll see those floodlights that we showed you earlier. We even have installed today's age of technology. We have 12 volt and USB for those phones and those kind of things that the operators are gonna need to communicate with home base. 
And here, this particular vehicle, we're using a inverter system to power our vehicle. And here's the controls. Again, staying with that theme of safety, workability, and comfort, all within an arm's reach of that operator. We're staying in the office and we're talking about workability. You can notice all the storage cabinets that we have. Easy open, same hinges as we saw in the back. A series of them as well, a nice comfortable chair. Again, comfort, safety, workability all part of this modular build that we like to put together. You also see some of that channel work that we saw in the back, so more accessibility. Here you'll see one monitor. This particular vehicle only has our standard Rover X in it, so we only require one monitor. But because we use modular in our builds, we can add to this as we go down the road if you increase the equipment. You can see up to three monitors sitting here, one for the um, mainline system, one would be a lateral line system, and the other would be the software that you are running. Speaking of software, you also see part of the modular. We have equipped the truck to be ready for a computer when you want to add the software in the future. We look down here, and again, workability, accessibility, and safety. We see there's where the inverter is located. So all of these things take those three design factors into play. We're giving you the workability, accessibility to it, and the safety of being able to do both. This is on the opposite side of the desk that we spoke to you earlier. Again, staying with that workability and comfort thing. We give you a file cabinet for any kind of paperwork, mapping, or anything else that is required in the field. You also notice on that safety thing right here, real close, within a foot or arm's length reach of the operator is the fire extinguisher. And hopefully, this is one thing he never has to use. Also, you can see there's a little bit of outside file storage and an eraser board trying to give you that workability and that comfortability. You also notice on these countertops, these laminated countertops, we didn't continue that stainless steel theme inside the office because the bacteria and those kind of things that we are concerned about back there won't make their way up here. We want this to be a comfortable and a very warm atmosphere because we want to keep that operator comfortable, we want them to have a nice workable surface that isn't cold, and we want them to be able to be able to get great view. So the darker we can keep it in here, the better. Hey folks, we returned back to the back end of the truck and moved now into the workspace area. Um, we're going to talk about the safety in the workspace area. So what we've done here at Envirosite is we try to modular build every truck. And what I mean by that is we want to give you accessibility and we want every truck to be about the same. Yes, some different designs come into play. But what I'm really talking about is if you take a quick look up there at the top, you'll see a carpeted area for example. Those contain a lot of the wiring that's for the safety lighting. Why did we do something like that? We want to be able to give you accessibility. So if there's ever a problem down the road, why don't you have to dig into the walls to try to fix something? Because te that tends to lead to some pretty shoddy repairs. So you can see it there. You also know there's some plastic channel that's running along the walls. Those also are containing those wires so that you have easy accessibility. It also allows you in the future, if you want to add anything to this truck being modular, it'll give you instant accessibility, not only in equipment, additional lighting, and any other of the options that you may want to add down the road. Staying at the back end of the truck, we're going to move on to workability. Earlier, we talked to you about the safety aspects of keeping everything towards the back end of the truck. Now I want to talk to you about the workability of it. Not only is it safe to keep the operator from having to climb in and out of the truck, it also is very convenient and makes it much more productive if we keep everything here in a limited step. So you can see the toolbox there and some of the other things that I spoke of. And then also, the workability and the comfort of a lot of cabinets and storage. It's very important for them to have everything they need back here, not have to walk around the truck to get anything. So you take a quick look at all those cabinets. You'll notice there's quite a bit of them. Even a full five drawer toolbox up there. Again, storage in mind, workability in mind. Staying in the back of the truck, we spoke to you about some of the cabinetry. Take a look at the quality that Envirosite puts into their builds. You'll notice that we use a European style hinge instead of a piano hinge, much stronger and fully adjustable. Okay, easy to pull this door off if any repairs were ever need to be made, or maybe we want this cabinet to be completely open. These hinges right here make that extremely easy as opposed to a standard piano hinge that you see on some of the other vehicles. Take a look here and here. We're using 304 stainless steel tops. Why would we do something like that? In this environment, 
It's a very bacteria-laden environment. Using a wood block like some will do, that, that bacteria ends up staying inside of that wood. And especially these days, it's very important that we're able to disinfect and sanitize inside our build. Again, this is safety, it's workability, and it's quality all rolled into one. Working our way to the other side of the truck, take a look at the cabinet over here. It is found underneath that stainless steel sink and that stainless steel countertop. What we have here is the reel for our washdown system that we saw at the end. The reason we do it such like this is now you have accessibility if you need to get in here for any reason whatsoever, whether it's the plumbing, the pump, or even the hose. Everything is accessible. Again, back to the workability, back to the safety theme, everything that we try to roll into all of our builds. Okay, we're going to wrap it up, folks, and I want to thank you for joining us this tour of our build out here on this Ford Transit. I hope I answered all your questions or you've seen everything you needed. But if you haven't, please visit Envirosite.com and find a local representative in your area. He'll be able to bring one of these vehicles by so that you can see it in person. You can also take full advantage of our Fast Track program, which is all of our stock trucks that are out there ready for when you need them.